Peace family, Kanji Queen here. And in this segment, I want to talk about a popular topic that a lot of spiritualists secretly talk about, or they may talk about it to their friends and their, their journals. But I noticed that a lot of spiritualists don't really like to talk about this particular <laughs> common topic that a lot of us go through. So I kind of wanted to be the vulnerable one to put myself out there in case anybody else may be going through something similar, right? So as you guys already know, I am a student of the occult. I learn about spirituality. I, I study different books and I also teach what I learn. At the end of the day, I always identify as a student and a practitioner rather than a teacher, right? So the reason why I'm saying this is because um, people have this misconception or idea that spirituality is just like this feel good thing right like if you're going through a hard time in life then choose the spiritual path because that path is easy now i'm going to say something that's going to ruffle a few feathers but it is what it is i noticed that the people who tend to have a very easy spiritual journey meaning like they don't have any type of obstacles they don't have any type of resistance every day is a carefree day and it just seems like sage and meditation makes all their problems go away these are people that are not really psychic <laughs> these are people that are not very very tapped in these are people that are not really doing the work but they are just embracing the spiritual aesthetics and there's nothing wrong with that right like it can be a fashion trend it could be trendy um trends are meant to be popular and what is popular is usually followed by the majority and the spiritual path is anything but supposed to be popular um and the reason why i'm saying this is because i feel like a lot of the times i could be hard on myself because i'd be like yo it'd be days where i don't feel like doing no readings it'd be days where i don't feel like doing none of the spiritual shit it'd be days where i feel like i don't want to talk to nobody it'd be days where i'd be in my moods and guess what today is one of those days and the reason why i'm saying that is because yo i literally did not want to do a video but i've been talking to my advisor right i think every spiritualist should have a spiritualist so every advisor every psychiatrist every therapist should have somebody that they talk to right because at the end of the day it's like a lot of the times most of us that's in this journey we're very independent we found this path on our own we took a stand when the rest of our family members were religious we decided to go a different path so let's just stop for a moment and realize like how brave that is and how different that is and the fact that we chose this path that is not necessarily a popular path or it wasn't popular when a lot of us actually embraced this path we chose this path because let's be real spirit won't let us do anything else Let's talk about that, okay? Because what a lot of spiritualists won't admit is that a lot of times, well, I can't say other people, but a lot of times I've considered quitting this profession many times. I've considered quitting. I've considered saying, you know what? This shit is too much for me. This shit is crazy. I can't take all of this shit. Like, I'm done. And then I would try and go and be normal again. And the spirit is like, fuck is you doing? Like, it will block everything, yo. Like, if I try to get a job or if I try to blend in and be normal, listen, spirit is going to be like, yo, I don't know who the th who you think you are, but this is not you. So cut it out and get your shit together because we're going to block all your avenues of money. We're going to block all your relationships. We're going to block everything that you do until you get your shit together. So let's talk about that, right? Because sometimes it can feel like a trap because it's like, yo, this energy can be so overwhelming, especially when you are highly sensitive, right? Because when you're a highly sensitive person, you're not going to be out here looking for books to be more spiritual, to be more psychic. If anything, we need to learn how to manage the psychic abilities that we already have because the families that we grew up into either thought that this psychic ability or gift was demonic right from satan or we you know we we got bashed for it so then nobody ever really taught us how to cultivate it so you already think that you're weird you already think something's wrong with you because you have certain abilities and gifts and things that's going on that nobody else understands right the simple fact that the simple fact that if you tell somebody listen i don't have any energy to go make any store runs right now because you know that as soon as you leave out of your door you got to deal with people 
And that to, to the normal average person, that could be like, yo, that's not even a big deal. You're just being lazy. But to the high hypersensitive person, empathic person, psychic person, because that's what really psychic is really is. Psychic is just another fancy way of just saying a highly sensitive person, a person who is able to pick up the a stimuli, right? Stimuli of other things that most people cannot pick up on. I made this example before. I said that a person could walk into a room and they'll notice like um, the average person will walk into a room and they'll notice probably like mm, 10 to 15 things, right? But they're usually physical stimuli. Like they can notice there's chairs in the room, there's people here, there's a certain smell or aura in the room. But a highly sensitive person, they walk up into the room and they notice like 100 or 500,000 things in one split second because all of those different stimuli is coming. They're picking up the energy and emotions of people around them. They're picking up on past energy that could have happened hundreds of years ago, last week, yesterday. They could even be picking up on future energy that's about to come. But guess what? When you're not psychically trained, you don't know the difference between any of this. And so now what happens is you're so emotionally overrun with all of these emotions that one, some belong to you majority don't belong to you that you start to shut down and you start to think that you're crazy and you start to be like yo i can't take this this shit is overwhelming and it starts to affect your head it starts to affect your stomach and sometimes it can affect your body your mood and these are things that's not talked about okay and the reason why i'm talking about this is because social media social media is specifically designed where everybody wants to make it seem like their life is perfect there's no problems, there is no obstacles, there is no challenges. And you know, and you know what? You can't even be mad at influencers for that. You know why? Because I feel like when influencers have so many people looking up to them and they know that people count on them to cheer up their day, to give them an encouraging word, to just make them feel good, right? That's what a lot of people like to watch spiritual channels and, you know, encouraging, encouraging platforms is because they like to feel good. And I get that. And so these people, they show up every day, even the way we don't feel like it. We show up because we know that there's people that's, that's counting on us. But (laughs) a lot of the times, this shit is just like, it's a lot. And, you know, um, we're human beings at the end of the day. Like, we're having a human experience. And I think sometimes that we think that we're supposed to be machines. But you got to realize that you are doing a, a, a superhuman thing. You're utilizing your body as a channel in order to bring divine energy and help other people whether you're a healer whether you consider yourself a teacher an advisor whatever it is that you do you're allowing your body to be a vessel and then when you are highly sensitive or you are a psychic person this can be very detrimental to your physical body especially if you're doing this every day this is a reason why a lot of shamans and healers and root workers and real medicine men and and and, and spiritual people was in the in the in the woods, in the mountains. Like they was isolated. And I used to always wonder, like, why they always why these people always isolate themselves from the rest of society? And now I get it. I get it because it can be so draining. Where the only the only place where you can retreat is in nature, in your room, in your home, away from people. And that's a lot of empaths. That's a lot of highly sensitive people. And I realize that we do this subconsciously. And then, you know, what about the people that don't have a choice and they can't stay home all day? They may have kids they got to get up and show up for. They may have to be at their job. They might work two shifts or two jobs so they don't got time to rest and hide away from the rest of the world. They don't got time to sit and meditate and, and focus and to deprogram and say, you know what, do these emotions even belong to me? Or is this somebody else? Where does this come from? How do I get rid of this? Right? So, once again, um, I got sidetracked. What was it? <laughs> I got sidetracked. I was basically talking about how a lot of the times influencers, they, they show up even though they're tired because they know that people people are looking forward to our message. But I want to just say this to spiritualists, to other influencers, because I know that um, a lot of spiritual influencers do watch my channel and I appreciate that and I appreciate the love. But I want to just say this. Um, Work will always be there. Social media will always be here. Um, People that love you will always be there. And what's meant for you will be for you. But understand that we're not mechanical machines. 
that's designed to just work nonstop. There's going to be times where you got to pull away from everybody and everything because this is the path of the spiritualist. The, the crazy thing is, it's like we're living in a world that's designed for the majority of people who are left brain, that are desensitized, that are not empathic and that are able to kind of be like robots, right? Like some people are robots. I do believe that there are drones or what they call them NPCs in this, this matrix. So these people are not affected. They don't feel things. They're not sensitive. They're just literally bots, right? And then you have um, people who have souls because not everybody has a soul. Okay, that's a whole nother conversation. But for those who have souls, for those who can feel, for those who haven't died inside, for those who still have some type of fire in them, we are not built for this system. Like we're, we can we can survive in it, but it's not designed for us to thrive. So you have to create your own system. Right. Your own habits, your own schedule, your own ways that work for you. So that way you can be able to operate optimally in this particular life. And I'm realizing that. Right. Like um, and it, it's levels to it. But I just want to say this as a word of encouragement that, you know what? Every day is not going to be a day where you're going to be in a good mood. Every day is not going to be a day where you feel like, you know what, um, you're always going to be on. And don't beat yourself up for it because I think a lot of the times we could be hard on ourselves because maybe our parents or our family members didn't understand our psychic abilities or our sensitivities. And the reason why we got so easily emotionally overstimulated, right? Everybody responds differently to the to um, being overly stimulated. Some people shut down. Some people escape, right? Like party every weekend or drink a lot, smoke a lot. Um, escapism, having lots of sex or like I'm um, trying to find multiple partners on these online dating sites, right? Like is addictions come in many different forms. And no matter how you try to dress it or how you try to disguise it, at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's addiction and it's escapism. So these are all things that highly sensitive psychic people do in order to find somewhat form of balance or grounding because sometimes this reality can be a lot and so they have to they detach their body they detach their spirit from their body it's crazy y'all but i'm saying all of this because there's no blueprint for us so we have to discover this shit on our own and that shit ain't easy <laughs> it ain't easy at all i'm telling you right now Anybody else in here? I know I'm talking a lot. Let me look at these comments. Anybody else be feeling like that? Like, you just be feeling like, you know what? It's going to be days where you just might need to just take a break. Turn off social media. Turn off your phone. Like I told y'all, I wasn't even going to do a video, but I've been talking to my advisor and she suggested that I start talking about like things that I'm going through instead of just retreating. Right. And a lot of times people be thinking like when something something is bad or let's say um, if your energy is off, a lot of people automatically assume like, oh, somebody's doing something to me or something's happening. It's like, no, a lot of the times you could be the most powerful spiritual person, but sometimes you can also still be affected like your spiritual hygiene may need extra cleansing or maybe you might need somebody else to heal you or to cleanse you. Because remember, we're independent in this journey. A lot of us are self-taught. And so we've learned to do everything ourselves, but we can't do everything ourselves, right? So sometimes we have to know when it's time to ask for help, when it's time to allow people to support us, allow people to nurture us. Like we nurture them, like we nurture everybody else, right? Like we need to fill our cup as well. And I feel like lately my cup has been empty for the simple fact that I have been given a lot. I've been given a lot to people, um, you know, personally, close to me, people I don't know, um, work-wise. And, you know, I love what I do. And like I said before, like, um, I love helping people and I love the gifts that God has given me. Sometimes it should be like, yo. Yo, I'm going to be real. Sometimes I be in here cursing spirit the fuck out. I be like, yo, what the fuck is this? Like, you know, I'm like, yo, I chose this journey. I made all these sacrifices and this is what the fuck I get. Like, yo, I be in here going on. And I don't know if it's just me, but like, I be having, anybody else be having tip attention with spirit? I be like, yo, especially like, let's say for instance, right? Like you, you want your way. 
And sometimes, like, you know, in a spiritual journey, sometimes what we want is not necessarily what's best for us. And I know, I know, I know, like, we know that that's true. But we don't want to hear that shit. Who want to hear that? Right? Let's say you fall in love with somebody. You think this person is the one for you. And the spirit come and say, nah, this ain't the one. But this is a lesson, though. It's like, fuck you, me. This is a lesson. Bitch. <laughs> Bitch, fuck you, me. This is a lesson. I'm in love. And the spirit be like, that ain't love, baby. We got something better for you. And then you know what? Sometimes you got to trust the process. And sometimes I be on spiritual strike. Like, have y'all ever been on strike with spirit? Listen, I'll tell y'all one thing. Spirit, my guardian angels, they got a handful, okay? Because one thing about me is I'm rebellious against humans and spirits. <laughs> okay? I be fighting back. I don't just be bowing down and, and accepting shit. I be questioning everything. And I always tell y'all, always question the spirit. Always test the spirit. Because for one, I don't trust everybody and everything. And I know that there's a lot of tricks to spirits in this in the spiritual realm that like to act as ancestors and act as teachers and stuff. But they're really just fucking parasites. Oh, I know this is sweat like crazy right now again. But listen, I be, I be in here. I be like, listen, look, I'm done. I'm going on strike. I ain't doing no reading spirit. I ain't doing nothing. I'm going right back to my ratchet ways. <laughs> I'm going back to the hood. I'm going back to the streets. And the spirits be like, oh, where? That's what you're doing? Okay. And then they'll sit back. And then they'll just start blocking all my channels. And they'll start blocking everything. And I'm like, all right, you know what? Fine. 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 Okay? Fine. I'll reconsider. I'll reconsider. <laughs> I'll reconsider. And so then I find myself back in this loop. Anybody else? I think I'm just hard-headed. I think it's just me. I'm rebellious. But hopefully maybe I will grow out of it. Maybe not. I don't know. But at the end of the day, I just know that um, I have a very strong will. A very strong mind. And the spirits always tell me that. Like, I don't just go what anybody says. Um, and that's also why a lot of the times, like, you know... I don't think anybody is um, immune to psychic attack, but I feel like the stronger your mind is, the harder it is for somebody to fuck with you. And I do have a strong mind. And I'm not going to say I'm immune to anybody fucking with me, but I will say that it is harder for a spell or a hex to hit me because I'm always rebellious. I'm always like, fuck is this feeling? Fuck is this emotion? Fuck is this thought? This ain't mine. Get the fuck out of here. I be cursing everybody the fuck out. All spirits. I be like, listen, I don't know who's who. Get the fuck out. Everybody get out right now. Because I need to think. <laughs> I need to think. I need to think. And so sometimes you have to put your foot down. You got you to gotta stand your ground. I don't care who it is, what it is. If something is not working out for you, you got to find what works for you. And sometimes, you know what, spirit will sit back and let you figure out what you need to figure out because at the end of the day, we have free will, right? We gotta, we gotta learn from experience. How many of us have parents that try to warn us about certain life situations and we just didn't listen, right? And our parents probably went through it. They know, when we're young, we think we know everything. And I think that's still the same way. It's like when we teenagers, we don't think we're going to die. We don't think any danger is going to happen. We think our parents don't know shit. Like, we just think we know everything. We're unstoppable, right? And I think that we still have that mentality um, as we're still babies in this, this cocoon or this human vessel because the spirit, spiritual world and these spirits that we work with, they're very ancient. So we're like babies to them. And it's just kind of like, you know what? We tried to tell you, we tried to guide you, we tried to tell you what you got to do, but you want to be rebellious, have temper tantrums, and that crazy. <laughs> but anyway, I think I said enough. I just wanted to share that, you guys, because I want y'all to know that at the end of the day, even Conjure Queen has her moves. Even Conjure Queen doubts spirit. Even Conjure Queen thought about quitting the spiritual journey many, 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 many times. So don't feel bad or beat yourself up if you feel like that, too because that's okay and it's okay to take breaks and just understand that if this spiritual journey is meant for you let's just say it this way no matter how many times you try to walk away you're gonna always find yourself right back right it's kind of like a toxic relationship no, i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just kidding it's not toxic it's a healthy relationship but i'm just rebellious i feel like the more you try to fight it the more difficult it could be and i'm a fighter right so i'm a fighter spiritually i'm a fighter so i'm like not nah, spirit i ain't going out without a fight i ain't, I ain't no, i don't know what you're talking about i'm gonna rebel i'm gonna rebel so but take care of yourselves family um 
once again like i said if you ever find yourself in those places where you just feel like you need to escape or whatever like ground yourself guide yourself and sometimes if you need to take a break from everything do it do what feels right to you you're not a machine social media will always be there work will be there okay but i love you guys take care of yourself thank you for listening to my rant and um and yeah that's pretty much it but i love you guys and i will talk to you soon take care of yourselves peace